Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to the first video of a new series about working with HCS and voice attack. I was originally going to make a single video on this, but it exploded into an impossible project when I brainstormed the possible topics. This video jumps directly into some pretty advanced discussion about manipulating voice attack. If you've never heard about voice attack, and you're interested in starting with an overview, please follow the link that's on the screen now. This video series is going to help you understand how the functions work, so that you can update, troubleshoot, and edit them yourself. So let's begin. Today's topic is cheating when voice training fails. I will not go through the process as the help file is really good and very easy to follow. The voice recognition software is actually built into Windows and not into voice attack. Depending on the version of Windows you have and the language pack, your results may vary. What I'm going to show you today will work for you regardless of what version of Windows you have. People with harsh accents in English due to a second language or a speech impediment may spend hours training the software and still receive poor results. Use this simple technique to lock down your profile. This can be applied to any command. Voice attack will only execute commands it can attribute to its profile. If you were trying to say lock missiles, but the program always thought you were saying look missile because of a speech impediment or accent, nothing would happen. Just add the command look missile into the command tree of the profile. The main goal of voice attack in HCS packs is always to improve your enjoyment and effectiveness within games like Star Citizen. If it's not reliable, you might as well not use it. When looking at voice attack, any command that shows up in yellow shows you what the software thought you said. Yellow commands are the ones that trigger no events. They're disregarded because the software doesn't see a command in the profile that's close to what was said. It's important to speak normally because the goal is to get the software to understand how you speak without any extra effort. Once you've figured out the cheat word, you can either go into the profile manually or you can trigger the command by voice. You may try speaking without an accent. The command will show up in green and then you can simply double click it. Once you can see the command within the profile, you can simply add a semicolon and the new trigger command that works based on your voice. If you're 100% sure that that one word is going to be the only word that you'll ever want to use to trigger the command, you can also at this point elect to delete the entire command and add only that word. And presto, you now have 100% positive recognition for your commands. And just a note, this is also a way to add custom triggers if they make more sense to you. Personally, I say send it to fire missile and decoy to release countermeasures. With those two examples, they're completely phonetically different from anything else that I say, and I know that the software always hits 100% recognition. I use this technique every time I get an HCS update to tweak the commands the way I like. I really hope this video helps anyone who's had difficulty with training voice attack in the past. Please make suggestions in the comments for other things that you'd like me to cover. My goal is to grow my channel, and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Please subscribe for future content and to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the verse.